What is up, YouTube? Going into round five of the Modern Challenge today. Won the last two, which has been good for the home team. Though we are sitting near the bottom of the three and twos, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to fight hard in order to get up here to the top sixteen. I don't think I'm gonna do it, but one can hope. Looks like the twenty three and twos go all the way from twenty five down to sixty two. And I am number 58, so that's not good. Um, played against kind of like a Sahili deck, like a Lotus Cobra Sahili deck with Jace in it yesterday, or last round, which was interesting. They, I won in t three games. They went off, on, they comboed off on me in one game, and then I beat them straight up one game. They comboed off on me, and then I beat them with a, uh, with a whatever it is. Yes, that makes sense. And um, then they kept a one lander, and I just kind of death shadowed them, like killed their bird, stubbed their removal spells, just ran them over. I recognize this name. Ah, uh, yeah, this hand's good. We need some more lands, but I'm gonna cycle this before fetching. Then this fetch is probably a watery grave. I would put this guy on a fair deck to what I've seen him play. I think. So this hand's pretty good. Like we we have a chance to go, like, oh, hang on. we have a chance to go, discard spell into threat into Liliana into Jace if we if we live the dream. I probably should have just thought seized or Inquisition there just to hedge against playing its burn. Like just a little hedge probably would have been an adult decision for me. Because like if we're playing against Burn, we're in a lot of trouble. All right, we're playing against Storm. Okay, I think I'm gonna take this revival. I think that's the plan. Then we're gonna <clears throat> play Death Shadow Shock and go get a Swamp. And then get Liliana into play. kind of like taking the eternal witness like there's nothing really good to take it's just kind of what you get to do that was a really good draw so now i can just now i can take this gifts or i can take this brawl I really want to get Liliana down next turn. So I think I'm just going to go with Thoughtseize. <clears throat> I think I'm going to take... I don't know. I could just take this Brawl and then just be free to go up with my Liliana and squeeze them. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Get Swamp. Probably discard Jace next turn, unless I draw like a removal spell, which will be sad, <clears throat> but ultimately the right thing to do. I think it's just too much. I'm just gonna. I wonder if it's actually right to ditch his Death Shadow here. Like we've slowed them down. We're gonna start eating away at their hand. Then we can start fate sealing them, or we can find removal. Like this Death Shadow is not gonna kill them. <clears throat> Well, they might not. The problem is, Robligator, if they don't do that, it messes with us. I, it, yeah, I'm just going to ditch this. Like, this might not be right, but I think that 
it's the highest upside. This Death Shadow is not going to kill them enough without the disruption. Then the combo of Jace and Liliana should be able to take care of them. So they drew that Shiva Leaf. Unfortunate. I could have just discarded the land also. The problem is if he doesn't, like, he easily could wait a turn to do that and then not. Okay. We just change his line of play. So let's. If I take the, if I leave him with a brawl, then he can just play off curve. I might as well not put, well, no, this is better than a random draw. So I will put that in the bottom. Okay, so they're gonna go for Now, they're not going to have a very big... I don't know if they can go off. They might be able to go off from here. I, probably what I need to do is I need to get rid of... I can't give them a cost reducer. So they have a cost reducer in their hand. I'm in a lot of trouble. So maybe I just ditch both of these rituals. Put both of these in the graveyard, choke him on mana, and then just hope he doesn't have a cost reducer. So he's got Pass in Flames, Manamorphose. But even if he has a cost reducer, that doesn't necessarily do it, right? Let me see what my top card is, because I might have to, like, Edict and Bounce, unless this is a removal spell. I think I just go Edict Bounce. So they have Passed in Flames, and then they have Passed in Flames, Goblin Electromancer, one of their cards. So I have to make, don't hit a cost reducer. Yes. Alright, let's start with this. And now he gifts, and we can set a pile where we should be able. We will probably end up fate sealing. So I know he's got past and flames electromancer.
No, he's got past in flames now. I got rid of his electromancer. So if I put both rituals in the graveyard, because he's got ritual, ritual, put in the graveyard, island. Yeah, I think I put ritual, ritual in the graveyard, tick up, he discards Electromancer. Well, he discards an island. And then I fate seal him. Yeah, I think we just have to cut his mana. And then we ditch the mana morphos. He discards. Then I fade to him. Ditch pass and flames. Put gifts on giving the bottom, yes. Okay. So now do I just continue fate sealing him? Because this costs five, one, two, three, four. Well now this, like I need to brainstorm to try to find, because he can just cast one, two, three, four, five, six. This costs five to cast back. Flashback, so he needs two lands in order to get this to work. A ritual. One, two, that's five. This costs five. So I actually can just tick my Liliana up and then fate seal him again. Alternatively, I can brainstorm. One, two, three, four, five. How does he kill me? A cost reducer? A cost reducer gets me. As cost reducer. Well, cost reducer doesn't get me. I don't think he has a draw that kills me next turn. So I think I can just tick up and brainstorm. I think I can just brainstorm. Okay. Let me get his island. Yeah, I, I definitely I needed threats. Like I get that, but I also needed like I needed to make sure I didn't die. And I think until this turn, there was a very, I needed my planeswalkers to hold off what was going on with them. What was going on with him, you know? Yes, now we can Jace uptick. Or we can Jace, or we can brainstorm just to fight. We know there's a fetch land on top of the deck, there's a fetch land underneath that. My opponent is close to just being able to go like, hard cast past in flames and then go off. Empty the wards be game. The problem is, is that my opponent, like, lands are good draws and spells are good draws. So I need to find a counter spell. Doing a bottom bottom.
So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we can't go past in flames. Go here. Because you need seven lands in order to pass the flames back and create generating mana. So I might as well look up, look at what he's doing. He needs seven mana to kill me. I think I'm going to leave this on top of their deck because it's no different than me putting it on the bottom, but it wastes one of their mana. Yeah, and they're crunched on lands. I agree. I don't think they have an I don't think they have a draw. Cuz they opt in even if they opt into cost reducer. Is that how that I don't know how that sequencing works. Is that how you're supposed to do that? All right, they're just digging. So if we'd have brainstormed, we would have seen this, this, and this, which wouldn't have mattered. Okay. Okay, so cards I know I want. I want these, this, 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 and this. Cards I don't really want. I don't like, because most of the lists don't play Blood Moon and they board out most of their creatures. I don't think, even though my Jaces were good, I don't think I want Jace. Because they're gonna board into an Empty the Warrens, um, Empty the Warrens Lightning Bolt deck. So if that's gonna be the case, I could just, you know, try to look to play along. I could go like this. Like, I know I don't want these, and I believe that I want all of these. So like Wild Jace was very good. There's probably maybe shouldn't have this Jace in my deck. I could cut a Street Wraith. I think they're gonna be like attacking my life total a lot and go like this. But it, maybe it's just like me wanting to play with this card and it's not right to have it in my deck. But like I generally, yeah, they're, they're computer glasses. They're really nice. My wife got them for me. The Jace is just too slow. At least I think. I'm not confident about this because like, they try to kill my. They try to like attack my life total a lot after sideboard, which makes me like want to cut one of these. And like I only want to see probably one of these this game in order to enable delirium. Where I wouldn't mind. Like I needed that Jace to win last time, and Jace. Yeah, the the challenge isn't where I necessarily want to try it. I think the upside's higher on having on seeing it, so I'm gonna try it. I, I could I could still be wrong though. Would you have kept Jason or would you would you have ditched it? I want to keep this hands gasoline. All right, we got that turn one delirium on. Now, see, we don't want to see a street rate probably for the rest of the game. I don't think we want that. We will find enough lands. Like, we've got plenty there. OK. 
Okay, so we have to take this. Oh wait, is this a three mana, four mana empty? This is a turn two empty here. So I have to take, I've got to take this ritual in order to not get emptied out of this game. Because they empty me for a million next turn. Right, that's a good draw because that lets me. If they play Baral, then I'll just, um, I'll just hit the, I'll just strip the empty. Yeah, so if we can just untap, though they could just, they totally could just kill me here, which is kind of the scary part. Um, our hand is very black. Oh yeah, I mean, they're going to get a million looks at it this turn. And then we just Liliana Edict. For sure. Looks like they found what they're looking for. Feel dead. I am dead. Yeah, we. I guess I could hit. There's a chance that they go for empty. Whew. That was, uh. We could top deck pulse. Okay, they're pieces. They found the grape shot though. Yeah, they found grape shot, so we're dead. Woo, baby. Turn three through two discard spells. Holy shnikes. And I guess I could have like like, yes, they had a cost reducer. But most, a lot of the times they board their cost reducers out. That was a good turn three, yeah. Yes, we did. We'll bring a couple more back in, I guess. We'll do, show some respect. Yeah. I know Caleb Shear is like the biggest Storm personality, and he always boards them all out in this matchup. Now, if we'd had that hand and we were on the play, we'd have been all set. Because we would have just taken the Baral, then uh, Brutality, the whatever it was, the um, taking the Baral, and then Brutality, the empty one. And then I'll set. Countering gift and pass and planes isn't worth it, in my opinion. And they often board out gifts here. You only need one creature to win this matchup, I think. And like you don't want to draw too many threats. Like you just need one. So like I just want some more disruption in here. Like you only need one threat. Truly living up there. Oh, this is sketchy. I think it's hard to mulligan 
a redraw with a scry and two discard spells. Even though we have four lands, which is more than I like having, but this hand's very disruptive. That's why Storm is good. Storm is like, it's weird. Death Shadow, yes please. Too bad we can't play it on two. We can only play it on two if we draw another Thought Seize exactly for our draw step. I still think that I want to take a cost reducer and then take a... Alternatively, I could actually just take and empty the Warrens first. And then just take the cost reducer next turn. This gives us, just gives us an out to play Death Shadow next turn. Okay, so we just take empty the Warrens. And then take Manamorphose or Lightning Wolf. I think I've got to take Lightning Bolt. Let's take a look. Please bolt me. Okay. Damn it. This is so gross. Some trouble. Okay, so they drew that. Watery grave. They put a card on top. So I could fetch and play this. Or I could hit a discard spell. Jesus. So I know there are five cards, and they kept one on top. That's what they kept on top. So they're digging. I need like a stubborn denial. Like I really don't want to fetch. I guess I got I got to fetch down to eight. I have to be able to. Again, I don't want to fetch too low because it's just going to make it so they don't need a lot to kill me. <sighs> yeah, I'm not going to win this game. Yeah, we did. I'm going to fetch this tapped. Just get in. Actually, I'm going to fetch both of them tapped, I think. I think I'm just going to get in one more point of dam these more points of damage. Well, I didn't I didn't know. I didn't want to like I didn't want to thin in the face of, you know, of potential so much burn. Oh god. 
So now you can just kind of go fishing and get the year. Because he only has to, all he has to do is just find it. And he's good. So we know three out of his four. That's so scary. We gotta let it go though, but. So he's got lightning bolt. So we're at a virtual one. So I can't even attack next turn. Because of these lightning bolts. Good. All right, we just take lightning bolt. So I go here. I can shock myself and go to one. And then I go to five, he hits me to four. And then he has to block next turn. I just need to fade two draw steps. Fire buff canal. Come on, okay. God, Jace is the hero we need. Well, at least without the Brawl, it's going to make it a little more difficult to go to get going. Oh, that's it. see if I have a way around this. It's got lightning bolt and one random card that doesn't, I'm going to assume that it doesn't matter. I can't give him Grape Shot or Lightning Bolt. One, two. Yeah, I can't give him Grape Shot or Bolt. So I gotta throw both those in the great yard and then hope. Because he goes, he needs one more mana in order to go like, yeah. So we just throw Grape Shot, put these in the yard. And he's just got Past in Flames, Ritual, Bolt in his hand. That, I think, does it. Oh, that's frustrating. 